Well, hello there and welcome to our time of reflection and prayer this week. This week our thoughts are turning to Valentine's Day, but I want you to know that God loves you more than anyone on earth can, and his love is totally unconditional. Our reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Amen. Love changes everything. The hit song from Aspects of Love states that love does indeed change everything. How a person's perspective is changed when the flame of love is ignited. Hands and faces, earth and sky, days are longer and words mean more. And how when love comes to you, that nothing will ever be the same. In the coming days, many of us will recognise Valentine's Day. And when lovers, known and unknown, exchange cards and gifts. It's nice to receive a Valentine's card, but it can be a bit unnerving if you don't know who sent it. It's nice to be loved, but Christian love, the love of God, is very different from romantic love. It's as far removed from romantic love as the East is from the West. Today's verses have been translated into more languages and dialects than any other words in history. They tell us why God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to save and not condemn, to offer eternal life to all who believe and to open our hearts to his unconditional love, knowing that when we do, nothing will ever be the same. Perhaps you're thinking, I know that God can love others, but he can't possibly love me. He doesn't know me and he doesn't know all the things I've done and said. Yet the psalmist assures us that God discerns our comings and goings, our lying down and is indeed familiar with all our ways. He does know all your comings and goings. And he still loves you unconditionally. And if that's you, perhaps you would like to read John chapter 3 verses 16 and 17, but making it personal. For God so loved me that he gave his one and only Son, that as I believe in him, I shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn me, but to save me through him. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. Love does indeed change everything, but only when it becomes personal. And unlike romantic love, there is nothing that you can do that will make God love you more. And there's absolutely nothing that you can do that will make him love you less. His love is totally, holy, and unconditionally perfect. Let's pray. Merciful and loving God, we thank you for your unconditional love towards us. Unbidden and unsolicited, you sent your son Jesus to demonstrate the fullness of your love by breaking down the barriers of sin that separate us from you. Lord God, we thank you that you took the initiative, opening to us true life and salvation through the cross. We acknowledge your great love for us and seek your guidance and help that we may be able to love others as unconditionally as you love us. And now let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 